everyone and welcome to Eden's Secret. Just got a little video for you today. I thought I'd show you a little bit of me cutting and decorating the Angel Skin Soap. It's obviously just a very plain bar in, in a beautiful blue violet shade. And then the mica drizzle on top is golden pumpkin. And the golden pumpkin is from You Make It Up. Link in the description box to that one. Now we've got uh, the Queen's funeral out of the way this weekend. I'm thinking the UK might get back to a little bit of normality. And it's been pretty full on. Let's go for a little trim and let's decorate these. So as you can see here, we've got a little hole and those little bits that I've scraped off with the potato peeler around the edges, I'm just squeezing that into some soap dough until it's nice and soft. And then we'll just push that, push it into the hole and scrape off the leftovers. Now, it might not be exactly the same color it is the same colour but once it's squeezed down it looks a little different as you can see a bit washed out uh, but it just depends which you prefer the best do you prefer just to leave the the hole in there or fill it in well as it doesn't matter so much with this soap because if you've seen me do the angel skin soap before I always stencil it with gold so I'm this soap dough's got a little hard, so I'm just going to squeeze that down until it's soft. Actually, I've left it out all weekend and it has hardened up a bit too much, so I'm going to get a fresh piece out of the bag that I've been holding it in. Okay, so here's the soap dough, which is just a bit of soap dough that was left, just a bit of soap that was left in a piping bag. Uh, from when I do, do the melon cupcakes, uh, so it's been in there ages and it's actually perfect to use now So it does have a bit of smell with it, but there's no way it'll overpower The angel smell in the whole of the soap because there's going to be such a thin layer of this on this piece of soap that it can't possibly taint it so, if you didn't see me do this last time, it is a little time consuming as anything intricate like this can be. Just pop the door on 
and scrape it over where you need it to go on the stencil. to put too much on because then you just need to scrape a lot off so as I'm doing this the the Queen's been buried now and uh, there's been so much footage in this country you'll never believe it if you weren't from here to see it um, but kind of glad it's come to an end I hope um, not that I don't like the Queen, I, I love the Queen, I like the royal family. Um, but the ceremony part of it, whoosh, it's just been ongoing since she died. One thing I would like to do that I've never done before is uh, go to the Tower of London to see all of the the royal jewels. I've never done that. So next time we go to London, that's what I'm going to do. Because I thought that royal scepter and the crown, of course, but the royal scepter and that orb was absolutely beautiful that were on the coffin. So I'd love to see them. I'm not into jewels or jewelry or anything like that i don't even wear jewelry it's not my thing but i still think it would be fascinating to see the beauty and the art of all that gorgeous um craftsmanship so then just take a blade preferably a flat blade will work better this one's a little bit curved And you don't want to scrape too much of that soap off hence don't put too much on because um, if you put too much on too much seems to want to come off if you just put a little thin layer then it tends to come off a lot easier so we've got some um, pumpkin gold mica here and we're just going to brush that over the top because I used pumpkin, although I haven't done a video of the whole soap, um, I thought I'd just do a video of me doing the decorating of the soap. Uh, and I used the pumpkin gold mica for the gold swirl on the top. The last time I did this soap, the top gold was different to the gold I put on the front and I regretted that. Uh, so at this time I'm used, I've used the same for both. So just brush that in and then you want to press it in. And then to take it off there's a little bit of a, a special knack to doing so. So you, you lift it at this edge and you just keep brushing your finger backwards and forwards and that's to try and keep the stencil design on the soap. Some bits might not come off but I wouldn't worry too much about that. Especially with a design like this. And there we go. So you'll, with a different finger, not the finger that's got the the mica on it with a different finger a clean finger just press all that down to make sure it sticks onto your bar of soap and there we have a beautiful piece of angel skin cream silk soap all right thanks for watching this little tip bit of a video today and i'll see you back tomorrow for another one bye bye for now everyone Thanks for watching.